Well, not not so much ganking for him, but ganking with him. Both yeah. supports team up with Bone Seven. The thing is, what do you expect a level three clock to do? Though they'd love to kill this Axe who's jungling, but it looks like they may just make a move on mid lane. Mushi going to be the target of choice here. They're going to oh, drop down dead. the Sentry Ward. Mushi going to get Gale as well as Inflame. Two Hero Impel, Two Hero Gale. Perfect execution. They'll get both heroes with that nice rotation, and Bone Seven gets about half a level off of it. It's, yeah, it's shared XP between four heroes, so so it actually wasn't. The He'll take the level. Win for, He'll yeah. take the gold. Yeah, I mean, he could be getting more XP at bottom lane, though. I feel like Bone7 actually kind of regretting not being at bottom lane as much as that was kind of nice for him. Yeah, well, maybe if he wasn't there, they wouldn't get the two kill. Although, yeah. I, I I think they would have gotten it regardless. I mean, two hero Gale, two hero Impale was pretty nice. A top lane here. Envy should be absolutely fine. He's moving so fast, although a little bit blocked by his own ward. Misery's coming in here looking for the Impale. We'll clip on Ch Ohio. Probably don't want to dive that. Hard time to, to fight for E-Home, though. Uh, Envy's got the healing ward up, something you can't easily bring down. Meanwhile, oh, uh, is it going to... They're so slow. And the Plague Works actually might kill DDC. The Gale's hitting on them. Look at this army of wards. Can he drop one more? DDC. He one drops one more. He does. Okay. It's getting The bottle bottomed. charge from yeah. Mushi. Very nicely done. Fata is going to get gone on here. And oh. here comes a hasted... Wow. It's a gang squad coming left, right, center. Where'd the slug come from? <laughs> Just History. suddenly shows up in the mid lane. It's bone dead. Gank mid yeah. against him, so... Well, same same for Mushi, though. Fair, fair. But even the Slark rotated. Yeah. That's the difference, I guess. It feels like Mushi and Fata right now are in a very similar position. They're matching each other almost exactly on farm, oh, as yank. well as the single death. Finger. Oh, one more hit, and the Zeus ult. Two supports getting a kill on the core, essentially. And Bone was there for the experience. That's level 6? Yeah. That gets him his level 6. That's huge. He's now actually got Hookshot. He can get a lot more involved early on. He can now finally start to come online. Yep. Um, I definitely like the, the way that Envy is playing this jug. Every time the ultimate's off cooldown, he's hunting for kills. Because I feel... With the Scotty jugs we're seeing. Hookshot going to catch up Mushi here. And they've got nothing around to help protect Mushi. With him dead, can you take Roche? I, I think I that's think the so. play. Yeah. They, they see Heroes top. E-Home now either have to TP to this bottom tier 1 immediately. I mean, this Roshan drops too fast. There's yeah. no... Mi actually, not a huge amount of minus armor, but they're going to take the tier 1 tower top and... Ice Blast is coming in, actually, though. Actually, they gonna... see... Okay. They dodge the Ice Blast with the help of the Sentry Ward, which does uh, see the icon on the minimap, but... They really just don't have damage damage. E-Home from... have time to get here. Or at least they did have time to get here, but it looks like they're just going to go for the trade elsewhere on the map. Yeah, they already pulled down on T1 uh, top, and you can see how Ohio is working on that T2 top right now. Oh, hold it, hold your thought. <laughs> <laughs> He's got no TP. He'll do as much damage All as right. he can, but comes MB comes in and we'll we'll pick up the kill. Okay. But again, that's a good trade. Yeah. I mean, look how many Cloud9 again. They have to rotate. Three, four heroes down bottom lane. It creates space elsewhere in the map. Mushi was farming Ancients. Now he's farming and pushing out the mid lane. She's got 4.2k. What is he getting? And why has he not bought it yet? I don't think he's decided. Consider, I mean, like, standard Mushi Deso. syndrome. There, okay. He was just not committed. He's like, do I need a BKB? Do I need the Deso? Do I get a Yasha? I feel like this TA build in general has been suboptimal. Uh -oh. Fata is going to get bursted down. He really needs a survivability himself. Mushi taking so much damage. Meanwhile, Big Daddy Noti in a lot of trouble as well. Yang on the run. Two for one trade. I, I just felt like... Fata needed to tank up. The blink is... I don't know. Yeah. Oh, Misery. On the back line here. Draining all of the mana. Yang is completely stuck. Finger is going to be a blink block. Misery. The place. And Envy now. Off of that, he's level 16. You talked about the giving B1, 3, and 1. So this has not been a good Mushi TA game. No, it definitely has not. And I think a lot of it came from the lane. You don't expect... Oh... Smoke underneath the C9 they, ward. They have a trap there. I mean, this is where... Well, C9 saw the smoke. Oh. But there... Are, is this a bait? Yes. Oh, yeah, it is. Axe call gets nothing. Zuzo comes in. It's going to be clock counter initiating. They lose one right from the get-go here. And how much more are they going to get? Blink Lions uh, coming in hot, and so is Envy. No, um, they have to use the Omni Slash and hope for that first kill. They will get a second on In Flame, and the slower to DDC from the Plague Ward, they may find more. even a third. Yep, he's dead. <laughs> that is just an odd place to smoke. Yeah, normally when you, you when you drop a smoke, you always drop a Sentry first. 
just to prevent things like that. And Slark, they, they actually pinged out afterwards, and Slark was in the jungle, so oh, Slark yeah. probably uh, found out exactly oh. where it was. Hello. <laughs> Doesn't want anything to do with Envy. So Envy has picked up two ulti orbs. He is going to build into us. Is doing something, but just not through kills, right? He is kind yep. of slow down Cloud9's farm, because they're farming us three. It's uh, kind of like economic damage in sure, some sense. Yeah. And the other play that he made on the bottom was when he first used uh, the Shadow Blade and, and got return killed uh, against Bone7's uh, Blade Mail. Yeah. I mean, it's like a pretty snowbally hero that just that one death, especially as soon as you pick up your Shadow Blade, really slows him down. Ohio. All right, just scaring Envy a little bit here. What's next? Okay, oh, Zeus ult, DDC's dead. A lot of overkill. I don't think Lion wants to use that finger, but hey, they're gonna get Ice Blast as a result. Inflame also gonna get caught out. Not sure if... You know, I'm very surprised that Cloud9 could find these picks. It seems completely effortlessly. Against a Slark, against an Axe, they're just not afraid. And they're walking through things like wards and TA traps. Well, he ain't gonna go for a tier 1 tower at the mid lane now. We'll be glyphed up and he'll be forced back and... I don't think he's going to be going back in for the last hit on this one, as it will be denied by C9, so... Quick response. Probably Roshan time for C9. They've oh, got a couple heroes in. on the side, and uh oh with a DD rune, he kills fast, and Misery doesn't have an answer to the Dark Pack. Misery threw everything out. Gale will hit on You're Yang. He will have Dark Pack and Pounce very soon, but looks like going to throw everything on him. Mua Fata taking a ton of damage here on, from Mushi from the back line. No mech just yet. Mushi is going to get the kill. Bone 7 closing on Mushi, and I think Mushi is going to be dead. I don't think his BKB is ready. Clockwork Hook is going to seal the deal. Ohio trying to get the Big Daddy kill. He will, but it's cleanup duty from Envy. Oh, blink upwards. I think they have vision here. Full stop, he can get full stop, chop the clock. Oh, he's looking for it. And he's oh, not he stuck misses. in the trees. Oh, he can ult to the low ground, right? Ult. Yang's back. Yang's healed up. The, the ultimate HP regen gets him out of there. And Ohio going to TP out. Great play from Ehome. Four for one trade in the end. They overcommitted to try and kill the Slack. They, the Venomancer with the Zeus. He got down to about 200 HP, but he gets into fog. And your Shadow Dance HP regen, yep. it out healed the Venomancer ulti damage. Even with an Ag Scepter, even with a level 3 ultimate, Shadow Dance, good spell. Okay, just to put things in perspective, a Heart of Tarrasque gives you 2.5% health regen. A Slark ultimate gives you 7%. It's... I'm no mathematician, but that's a lot. A surprisingly amazing hero against Venomancer for that very reason. All you're right. going to do is find some fog. And that's also where the Shadow Blade can help you out. Because if you get... If, you, if they don't have detection... You can pop this and you can start healing off during that Venomancer ultimate, so... I, I guess the argument... 10k go, 20k go even, and... Suddenly people just drop like flies. Top lane. This could be where the first one happened, but setting up a big he counter blitz into them! <gasps> okay, Zeus oh, he's gonna oh immediately before getting called. Ice Blast is spent, but here comes a uh, recovery squad. Ohio's gonna get blown up. Mushi has the BKB, so he could last a little bit longer, but he kinda has to run. Because once that BKB ends, the poison is gonna come in. Actually, the poison never hit him in the first play. Here comes Envy. Oh, the refraction oh, blink. Envy. Run, or run, Mushi. He's got a haste rune. Oh, no. Oh, oh. oh. Okay, can't haste that. All right. He didn't want Omni Slash, but got forced into it. Meanwhile, back from the back lines comes Yang. Yang's been got a okay. BKB now. But he wants both seven. Juggernaut. This doesn't end well for you. He may get him. one kill, but can he get out of this one? Pounces. Oh, he gets oh, caught. No, oh. two. The low ground pounce block. I'm not sure how much that was intended, but I'm going to say it was. I mean, if he gets the low ground, I, I don't know if he even survives, but either way, that was impressive. Envy's not done, by the way. He's got haste. He's got mask. All oh, the manta dodge. Inflamed dead. Envy is just putting his team on his back at this point. This has been... An I, I've seen Envy kind of go very deep. I mean... All of a sudden... Massively for Cloud9 yeah. and possibly top Rex. Looks like it. Oh, hold on. Envy. Or Fata is going to take a ton of damage. Looks like with Eesh. losing Fata, they'll call it a day. But buyback coming in from Ohio. Ice Blast going to hit onto. This could be big here. They lose one immediately. Swap back with Zeus Ult's going to come in. Envy's got Aegis, so he's not afraid of anything. In Flame dropping low. He's also got Omni Slash in five seconds. He can actually turn and fight this one. Slark's back too, though. Envy's going to. I mean, he's got Abyssal. Manta and Bone Ulti. Seven. This is the fight for Envy. He wants Rax. No He's buyback available for your Rax. This is looking really bad for Ehome. 
Clockwork Hook's gonna come in and look at the Abyssal Blade. Yang is dead. Yep, that's gonna be Rax. Mushi? Actually, I'm not sure how he blinked back out. But, uh. Backdoor protection? Here comes the creeps. Alright, okay. A little bit late to the party. Mushi can't do this on his own. He's no. not fighting into the Omni Slash, that's for sure. They have the Zeus with a gem, and there's nothing Mushi can do until Axe is back. I feel like they need Axe and Slack. This is going to be multiple lanes. They're going bottom as well. Get the T3 Tower, get the melee racks. Even if you don't get the range, it's still going to be a, a big victory if C9 can do that. Oh, MVP, Mushi going to get Omni Slash now. Yeah. Does not have a meld. He gets brought down. He has got a buyback, so this will be the price to pay to maybe protect your bottom lane, but C9 aren't done. Clockwork gets himself another kill. This is looking like it may just be GG. You know, this really reminded me the first game of the night, which it felt like it was an eternity ago. Remember when it was Vichy that just lost a hero and then they lost a lane of Rex? Yeah. Like, how quickly Cloud9 could have snowballed with this game and you don't want to mess heroes with, like, Juggernaut. I don't think we're going to be seeing a Vichy game in comeback, though. No. Yeah, they... It, this game does not have that kind of a feeling to it. No, definitely not. Vichy's EA has been very quiet, slack, just... I mean, doesn't have creep clear cap capabilities. This is a, a hero killer. They've got you know, no good counter push to deal with lanes of super creeps. A could get a Maelstrom. He this is kind of like the desperate... This is like a... I want to get a Rapier, but I don't have gold. So it's like the poor man's damage item, which is more attack speed. Actually, for, for Slark, that's really good, right? Because you, you build yeah. more and more. I mean, the only other thing I could maybe see being considered is, the, is just the Basher, but... Oh, the Zeus ultimate. Slack has the... Oh, okay. He's got the Dark Pact. He may be forced to Shadow Dance. He gets oh. hexed up, though. He's... No! And he gets stuck, though. He needs a Force Up. Maybe look at the man's out of this one, but the Ice Blast comes through. E-Home have lost two already. The Poison Nova going to catch out the Inflame Vengeful Spirit now. And Mushi, he's fighting for dear life. He's fighting to keep E-Home in this tournament. He's going to get a double kill onto that's the it. Zeus. And, well, one more slice, and that's the end for E-Home, it looks like. AA may TP back to the Fountain and survive, but... Envy did his, like, best anime... Dragon Ball Z impression. He was Ooh. just following the Slark. The Slark was trying to. What's he doing away. now? This is some. Uh, this is some anime impression. This okay. I'm like, <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. And Maybe please, like, the senpai of the future. This is what's going on. <laughs> he even matches. <laughs> He's just subterranean here. Yep. Well, <laughs> Cloud Nine, Cloud Nine will survive for another best of three. And they will have to face against uh, HGT, which honestly looked pretty impressive. I gotta say, that is gonna be not a series that would go as straightforward as you would have expected coming into like the playoffs. You think HGT, they were.